Hey, this is Gary again from Helm of Sun Valley in San Mateo, California, helm-sport.com. And in this video, I want to go over zip fit liners. Um, but briefly, I'm going to talk about the developer of zip fit liners. He was, uh, zip fit was developed by a guy named Shivan Coomer. Shivan has been in the ski industry for a very long time. He started in the late or the early 70s, late 60s, I'm not sure quite when, when Nordica started to make injection molded uh, ski boots, plastic molded ski boots, transitioning from leather ski boots. And I guess uh, Sven had some experience in, in injection molding. Um, he also was a, a modern pentathlon athlete for either Australia or um, New Zealand. I'm not quite sure, but he was in the Olympics uh, for that. So he was quite an athlete too. Was great, he was a great skier too. So he worked for Nordica, developing ski boots, making ski boots for, for quite a while throughout the the 70s and then he also owned a ski shop I'm not sure exactly when he started Footloose Ski Shop in Mammoth Mountain California which was one of the first real high-end high-end ski boot companies that did a lot of esoteric stuff and he did his research to start Superfeet footbeds and the first product that he made for uh, Superfeet was a uh, custom cork molded footbed for a ski boot and that was in the late 70s somewhere in there and he developed that and added some more products and then he ended up selling it and then they took it worldwide and it got real big um, super feet are known sold everywhere one of the biggest footbed companies around that's uh, sold in especially stores and places like rei and stuff like that people put them on their hiking boots their shoes and all kinds of things then he started uh, down under footbeds and uh, had that for a while and sold that. Then he started uh, somewhere along he's somewhere along the line he started ZipFit, and ZipFit is a aftermarket liner that is just a phenomenal, phenomenal product. Uh, peep the biggest advocates for ZipFit are people who own ZipFits. They they say things like it's the best investment in skiing I ever made. It changed my life, uh, and really I get that quite often. It's amazing how people say that they love their zip fits once I own them. They're not particularly cheap, but they're amazingly good. They're made, they're, they're about 465, 450, and then the new corset is 550. Um, they're made in Italy uh, by crafts, real crafts people in Montebelluna, which is the epicenter for sewing of foot products. Montebelluna has been around and making shoes forever, which involved, evolved into uh, leather ski boots and that evolved into plastic ski boots and some of the uh, companies that make ski boots are still in Montebelluna, but they do have a lot of uh, footwear, foot design, manufacturing and design over there in Montebelluna, Italy. Uh, so let's see, back to ZipFit. What is a ZipFit? So it's a custom liner. There are three kinds of custom liners. There's Flow, which is this type. You physically push on it. Think of clay. Think of silly putty. You push on it and it goes to where it needs to go in details to your foot. The other kind is custom foam injected, which is uh, you mix two chemicals together. There's usually tubes in the back. You'll see that that chemical, those two chemicals form foam, liquid foam. They go into an empty bladder and then it hardens around your foot. And then there are thermally molded types like Intuition, which you heat it up and put it around your foot and while it's still warm and it details to your foot. Uh, my favorite by far is ZipFit because it's an incredible blend of performance and comfort at the same time. Um, and the way it works is, like I said, that clay material or silly putty like material, you push on it with your, your, your foot ends up pushing on it and it details to all the little nooks and crannies of your foot. Yet you're up against something fairly rigid here. So uh, things are transmitted very efficiently to the ski. Very little movement because you're up against this rigid substrate of a wall that is so detailed to your foot, it's very comfortable, yet you get all this energy transmission and virtually no slop inside the ski boot. If you've ha been a person especially who has never been able to attain good heel hold down this is the answer to your dreams it locks your heel in like you would not believe it's 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 really really good uh, just to go over the general construction of zip fit you have uh, neoprene this blue air stuff is is neoprene wetsuit material and that's quite warm and it's all through, throughout the insides of the ski boot too 
in that neoprene. Then you have leather here. And then you have this tacky rubber up top, which kind of grips against the shell and further um, uh, makes the liner and the shell more of a one piece kind of a, so you get better transmission of energy. And then inside, what, what really is the magic of it, that floor material is minced cork. And this is what it is. Minced cork, it moves and takes a shape of whatever's pressing on it. Cork is an incredible insulator too. Uh, much better than just foam that's in a regular liner. Combined with the, that neoprene, and then inside the toe, there's actually lamb's wool up inside the toe. I turn this inside out so you can see what's inside the toe. Um, so it's an incredibly warm liner too. But what are the differences between all the different liners? It starts off with the Grand Prix. It has the most amount of the flow material in there. Um, so it's, for a recreational fit, it really is the answer. Then the World Cup has a little bit less, and some recreational boots are going to go in there. Then you have the Gar, which we don't have here, has even less material for a closer fit. Then you have the brand new Corsa, which even has less material, and, and it's designed for a person who is using a really tight fit shell, some race fit, a one finger fit, that kind of thing. There's a small, small amount of material in there, or flow material, and it does have leather inside here and the idea behind the leather is that it further reduces movement between the foot and the liner because it's so it's kind of tacky some people will actually ski barefooted in this um, and you also you're not going to be able to put this in the shell and step into it because this is so kind of tacky it doesn't allow your foot to slide around it barely sl allows your foot to slide into it so you have to lace this onto your foot and then step into your shell and that's primarily how you get into all these but you don't have to you can remove the laces if you really want to and get into it like a, a regular liner um, so that's kind of the construction and, and everything and all the parts um, uh, if you ever if you want to try one on or, or buy one on our website you can do that we can send one to you you don't need to heat it up to um, to have it mold to your foot it molds to your foot at all temperatures it just when you heat it up it just softens the the flow material and allows it to move a little faster so um, that's it if you have any questions put them down in the comments section give me the big thumbs up here uh, if you found this video helpful and uh, if you want to try one on and change your skiing life, come on into Helmsland Valley in Cemetery and we'll get you going with one. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.